What's up my fellow scruffy looking nerf herders and welcome to the Carbonite Chat. Today we're going to be doing a little video on the Star Wars myth of a character, Agent Terex. Now he's a character that's been running through the Poe Dameron comic series, but in the last few comics they've actually gone and kind of told and built up and explained where he came from and as you begin to find out where he came from you see some signs that he's kind of almost a mythical character uh, between different people in the star wars galaxy now the last video i did of the poe dameron series was about uh, c3po spy ring and where him and poe went to what was the roughest spaceport in all of star wars and poe was talking about how they tried to send the republic's tried to send over 3,000 ships to go and try to control Caddick and all of them were destroyed and so in one of the scenes later on that i'll get to hit uh agent Terex is walking through the streets of Caddick, and these kids are like you know look at this guy let's you know let's go get him and they try to go steal stuff from him and he quickly stops him and then a mom runs up and like grabs a kid and's like i'm sorry he didn't know who you were he didn't know who you was like please forgive him uh, he kind of flipped him some credits and was like you know he'll know from now on and it was kind of like you know everyone was fearful of what was going on what you begin to find out is that he was a member of the imperial army and he was just a stormtrooper i believe it was a uh, stormtrooper id number was tk603 and he fought on the battle of jakku which happened shortly after uh return of the jedi when it was kind of the last ditch effort of the imperials to try to regain control of the galaxy obviously we see all of the damaged ships left over from that battle in force awakens well him and another member in his group carlac they were fighting together with one other stormtrooper and then once the final ship crashed down one of the stormtroopers just turned around and shot the other one and then the other guy was like what are you doing he goes can't you tell it's over we need to get out of here and so he's like what do you mean he goes the ships are done we have no hope so they take off their stormtrooper outfits and then bury it in the sand very much similar to not burying it in the sand but similar to how finn was in force awakens they were down to just their black clothes underneath it and they buried it in the one guy agent Terex. he he wasn't real happy about it and he was like we've been told to you know basically that that's a part of our life that we need to cherish it now we're just treating it like trash and the guy goes if you want a chance of surviving then you've got to get rid of it because there's no hope there's going to be a bunch of republic people here and if they see us in stormtrooper outfits we're getting killed immediately so they go and flee and then it skips forward a little bit and it shows that they've been building up a ship out of scrap pieces from all over jakku and it's pretty much they say it themselves it's the ugliest ship that you've ever seen quite possibly the ugliest ship in all of star wars and it's just pieced together it's a big hunk of junk and not the way the millennium falcon is that is just to allow them to be able to fly off and get off the planet and the other guy says that he has an idea of a good place that they can go to get reset and go forward with what they want and when as they're flying away you see in the background all of the stormtrooper outfits and apparently agent Terex went and uh, dug it back out and took the stormtrooper stuff with them now agent Terex was the main one that built up and created this ugly spaceship so that they could fly off out of just the scrap pieces and Korlak was like wow i never thought we'd be able to get off with a ship and you put this all together and he said well it's just the hope of being able to keep the empire alive and of course Korlak doesn't care for the empire want to have anything to do with it but he says if we can get to Caddick, i have some connections in Caddick that can help us then begin to get us on the right track now that we're you know free of the empire now it goes back to the actual timeline with the poe dameron comics are going on and he's flying in and landing on the caddick and he's walking in and he's changed and got his stormtrooper outfit but he's changed it he's painted it. he's put like little horns on the side of it. he's really kind of made it samurai style and he's with his first order group because he's a member of the first order now he's kind of a intelligence person that kind of specializes in getting secrets and finding out information that the first order can find beneficial and the people that's with him that see him walk in like that they're like what are you doing but they don't say anything because he's their superior and so he goes you know y'all work on the ship because something's wrong with the ship because he actually messed it up himself and so he goes out in the caddick and as he's walking down that's when the moment happens that i mentioned earlier the kid trying to take some money from him 
And then after he flips the credit to the kid, he then goes and walks into this cantina. As he's walking into the cantina, everything kind of stops and everybody turns around and looks. And they're kind of whispering like, is that really who I think it is? And he walks all the way to the back to this empty table. And he goes, ah, good. I see y'all left my table empty for me. And then he sits down. Then it flashes back to before when they first got to Caddick, all the way back probably 20 or more years ago, where they first got to Caddick and he's sitting there with the other group and they go and meet these two girls and they say that you know he says this is the guy that i mentioned to y'all about and he goes he used to work on a special base and the base is rothana base which is an old shipyard for the empire and so he tells korlak tells agent Terex that ultimately the whole plan is that they'll go there that these two girls are like uh salvage ship salvage people and they want to help and all they ask for is stuff that they won't use to be able to for their payment and he says this is a whole fleet of empire stuff and that they can go there and get it before someone else does because he has the access codes to this base because he was once working there that they can then rebuild everything and get it built back together and with the hopes of trying to rebuild the empire to, again which just obviously excites Terex beyond belief then it flashes back to the Poe Dameron timeline where you see a group of a gang walking up to Terex sitting down at that table and as he's getting up to the table the gang leader kind of was like, what are you doing here? You know, I heard you were here, but I thought it was just myth or ghost stories that, you know, you, why are you returning? And begin to talk back and forth. And you find out that Agent Terex was the leader of this gang called the Ranks, which is who actually captured Poe Dameron at first before C-3PO's spies saved him. And you find out that when Terex joined the First Order, that he left the ranks to this other guy. And then the guy was like, but you said you were never returning. So why, why are you here now? And Agent Terex goes, well, I made the mistake of not realizing that I was ultimately a criminal and I would end up returning. And you made the mistake of thinking that as well. But this is my group and you need to give it back. Guy goes and reaches for his gun. Terex shoots like a little blade out of his armor and sticks it right to the guy's neck. And he goes, drop the weapon. And then we can have a little chat. And the guy's like, okay, okay. And he drops it. And then uh, Agent Terex goes, you know, I wonder why it is that you've got this gang of people behind you, but yet when I pulled the blade on you, they didn't do anything. And he turned, the guy turns around and kind of like yells at the gang and then one of them just shoots him and kills him. And then they go, you know, we're glad to have received your call. We're happier than ever to be able to be working for you again, Agent Terex. And so then it skips back in time again and it goes to them going to the location on Rathana base and Terex is able to get them inside and then it begins to open up and you see the carrion spike which of course is Tarkin's ship that he had created all the way back in the I believe it was all the way back in the Clone Wars and obviously it was a key component of the book the novel Tarkin and it's just it's got every type of tech and specialty gear that you could ever put on a ship it's the smallest ship to have a cloaking device and it's incredible surveillance system and all that stuff and so they're really excited to be able to get it and so then Terex begins to go work and rebuilding all of these stuff well later on you see that they're having a conversation Terex is working on the carrying spike at this point and his partner at that point and then the pirates that they were with well spoiler I guess that they're pirates and instead of salvage yard people but they're having a conversation and saying that you know what are we going to do before long he's going to realize that we're not trying to rebuild the empire so actually it's not a bad thing that i spoiled it because i was about to say it anyways and the other guy goes yeah well we've got to figure something out and she goes he's not gonna uh they had told him that the only reason they weren't calling out to get more people to come join is because they needed more funding and she's like he's not gonna fall for that forever he's not stupid and the guy his partner essentially goes well you know what if he's gonna still go against us we're criminals and we'll just kill him who cares he's annoying me anyways with all this loyalty and you know praise of the empire and then it shows inside the carrion spike and you see that Terex has overheard all of this and he goes to the intercom and goes hey great news i've got the carrion spike fixed everything's fixed the you know flight and the, he goes the flight and the surveillance and there's a pause and he goes and the weapons and they're up in the um, tower and he just shoots down the tower and then as soon as he shoots down the tower the rest of the pirates come in and they're like what happened was that a misfire and he goes no it's not and he goes 
um, there's a change. And he goes, I used to believe in the empire. He goes, I love the empire, but now that the empire is destroyed. There is no law. Everything is crazy. And now it's time for, he goes, I was in a time of mourning, but now I'm past that. And then it shows like kind of a collage of him and these pirates just taking over and killing a bunch of people. And it shows him sitting on a throne. And so he just basically used all of this and used all of these ships that he has at his own disposal to be able to build up this just powerful, powerful gang called the Ranks. And then what he was doing was as he had power, of course, he had other people bringing him stuff, kind of like, you know, the Godfather or whatever, where you kind of bring this as a thing of respect and hope that, you know, if you need something that he'll help you take care of it. And so somebody shows up and they've got just this Stormtrooper outfit and some credits and the other guy who actually was the guy that they shot later that was his second hand man before he left he goes uh he's like why would you bring just some credits and some stupid stormtrooper outfits to to you know to agent Terex? you know don't you have any respect for him and they go well it's not just stormtrooper outfit they go it's a new type and so it shows him holding up the helmet and it's a first order helmet and it's just kind of that's where he began to lead and join in with the first order so now back in the same day after he's got his gang back they go back onto the carrion spike which is the ship that was messing up that they're actually at Caddick with and when they come in he comes in with all the pirates and of course the first order people are like you know what's going on what are you doing you can't do this this is the first order ship and he goes well if it'll make you feel better you can tell them that we took it from you uh, by force it won't matter either way this is our ship and the guy goes, you can't do this. And he goes, you know, I'm sick and tired of Huck, Snoke, and Kylo Ren all treating me like a criminal. If that's what they're going to do, they're going to treat me like a criminal, then I'm going to act like a criminal. And I'm going to go, you know, save the First Order all on my own. So anyways, it was a really cool getting to see the background. Really cool, kind of interesting outfit. You can kind of see how some people would say that Kylo's kind of like a... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but a dress up version of Darth Vader just trying cosplay, trying to cosplay as Darth Vader to some extent. Well, you can say Agent Terex is kind of cosplaying a bit on his own with the Stormtrooper outfit with the cape and the, you know, helmet with the kind of horns thing on, on it and everything. So, you know, so tell me down below whether or not you like this outfit, whether or not you thought it was cool. Um, he's a pretty cool character for the comics. I would be interested to see him be in the actual movies, but I doubt that they'll bring a character like this from the movies. It'll probably be some at the end of the Poe Dameron comic series. It'll probably be he'll be ended at that point. But it's a good little foil to Poe Dameron as he's going on all of these missions because throughout the whole thing, him and Agent Terex are going back and forth. And so I think it's pretty cool. Tell me what your thoughts are on Agent Terex or whether you've been reading Poe Dameron's comic and whether you like it. I think it's up and down. There's some really good ones and there's some not so great ones. So let me know down below what you think. Also down below there's links to all of these uh, different toys, comics, books, so on. They are Amazon affiliate link. But I just want to make it easier for anyone that want to find some of the stuff when I see stuff in the background of other people's videos. I'll want to find out where to get them and sometimes it's hard to find and may not be able to find the exact same thing so i just want to make it easier uh it is as i said an amazon link so i will get a small percentage like five percent i don't even know what it is to be honest with you but anyways also down below you can get the t public link to get this t-shirt and i have another t-shirt if you like the designs of these you can pick those up at my t public page the link is down below that would be absolutely incredible and also if you want to talk to me about anything going on for our star wars and also be able to keep Keep up with any of my the videos that I'll be posting because I post daily, sometimes twice a day. You can go to my Twitter or Instagram at Carbonite Chat, and you can also just talk to me about anything that you want to talk about about Star Wars. Basically, just about Star Wars is all it's over. So anything to do from comics, novels, TV shows, movies, etc., etc., anything in the canon. I love to talk about and would love to hear from you and then also you can subscribe down below and then also as I mentioned before I'll post right here this will be a playlist of the Poe Dameron comic novels the <laughs> comic novels of the Poe Dameron comics so far and then I'll also post a video of the Star Wars comic playlist so far but anyways guys thank you for watching happy May the 4th and never forget you nerf herders I love you I know 